Uh, my name is Emma, Emma Ryan. Uh, I'm based in Stockport, Poppies of Stockport. I've run the business since 2012. Um, before that, I worked for a very large insurance company for 20 years, nearly 20 years, uh, working sort of 50 to 70 hour weeks. Um, great job, great benefits, great package. Um, but I was really looking when I joined Poppies for a better work-life balance. Um, and I'm very happy with, with where we are. Um, I get a full-time wage with part-time hours. Um, I joined Poppies because um, I think I was perhaps maybe having a bit of a midlife crisis. I don't know. Um, I'd got to a stage where in my career I'd got quite senior. And although that brings lots of benefits with it, I was working all the hours God sends. And I thought, if I don't do something now, I won't see 40, let alone 50. So I took redundancy, went off, did a bit of backpacking for a year to kind of get myself in the zone. And then when I came back, uh, um, I took on board poppies. I thought, it's now and never. Uh, if I don't take the risk, I'll never know. And uh, I jumped in with both feet and it, was, it just took off. Uh, I started in my back bedroom. Uh, I had uh, three staff. Um, within sort of six months, I was in an office space. That doubled within another three months. And before I knew it, you know, I was, uh, I was flying high. I know that I can pick up the phone um, and I can get support from any of the, the network. And I think that's what really drew me to Poppies was because I was working for a big blue chip organisation where you were you were kind of comforted and you were given lots of support and help and there was lots of people around you. When I started my own business, I still wanted to have my own business, but I ultimately wanted support and help and I knew that Poppies was going to do that for me. Um, and it's still true today, you know, in my first few months of starting, I had constant contact um, with Poppy's head office. They would always come with back straight away. They would come and sit with me, would make sure that I knew exactly what I was doing. And then obviously, as I've got more and more experience, that, that kind of pulls back. But equally, there are always going to be moments where you kind of, you haven't trodden that path before. And I know 100% that I could pick up the phone and I'll get that support and help. Uh, it doesn't stop. Uh, we work in Stockport, we work quite closely with um, Stockport Council and Age UK, so we get a lot of business through those avenues. Um, but cleaning can be for, it's not just for the elderly or those that have got health problems or disabilities. Um, it's for anybody, and I think we're, everybody's living such busy lives now that we see an awful lot of young families that need that support. Um, it, it seems to have got more because of... I'm not saying we weren't popular before COVID, because we were, but after COVID, I think it's highlighted the need for cleanliness and hygiene, um, not just in homes, but also businesses as well. A typical day for me, I get up and get in the office for about 8 o'clock, um, go through emails, I'll do, at the very most, I'll do three inspections, um, generally it's one or two of that day, deal with any, any, any bits in the office that I need to do, and then um, I go home about 1 o'clock, I walk the dogs, um, make the tea, uh, go on my treadmill, uh, watch some telly and then go to bed and the day starts again say so right <laughs> well it's just it's been it's been busy it's been very very busy um we've we've done well with recruitment and i think we've got the seesaw balance in terms of the amount of staff and the amount of services we've we've managed to keep that on an even keel and that means we've just been growing and growing and growing um we had a bit of a a bit of a nightmare in Easter when our office got destroyed by a flood, but we still kept growing. Um, the, good, the good thing was, was that the staff just got on with it. Although we didn't have a physical office, 
Um, for about two months, we worked from, from my dining table, actually, Rachel and I. Um, we didn't have a physical office for two months. Uh, the staff were still able to, to continue, so there was still a generation of, of turnover. Um, and I could still go to do the inspections. I didn't need to be selling something from a shop, if you like. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yes, it has, yeah, and probably more so. Um, I didn't think I would have this good a work-life balance. Um, and I didn't at the first few days. Yes, I did put the hours in and I put the graft in in the first sort of 12 months, 18 months. But, it, you know, it wasn't very long before I could start to pull back and actually give myself some breathing space. They need, to, they need to like people and understand people. They need to have patience um, because some things don't happen the way that you want them to happen and they don't happen overnight. Uh, they need to not necessarily have a good head for numbers, but they need to know themselves, know the way around a pound sign. Because, you know, at the bottom line, we're not doing this for free. We are in business and, you know... I do still do the, the payroll and the accountancy. I know you can outsource that, but uh, for me, I like to keep a handle on the accounts. You need, to be fo you need to have energy. You need to have enthusiasm for it. You need, to, um, you need to want to make people's lives better because that's the end product. You know, and that's... that's ultimately what I enjoy yes the monetary aspect of that is brilliant but actually take that away and it's about the value you add to people's lives